Oh, nope. I thought jewelry box, but nope. That's somebody's pet. Hey, Mike, this is definitely something for you. What is it? Add to your cremations oh, yeah, collection. Nice. End of a long day slicing your finger on a cheap $1 safe. Yeah. Just because it's got a ring box in it. You see what's in there? Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. Exactly. Uh oh. Oh, Mike, look at this. Dude. <laughs> Did you tweak it? Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh. First step is to separate what we got, meaning silver, 14K, 10K, 18K, whatever the goal is, and then the costume. All right, here it is. Here is the full jewelry treasure load all laid out. Previously on Locker Nuts, I teamed up with the storage auction pirate to buy this big 10 by 20 locker at the auction. It cost us a whopping $4,300. We liked the dust, cobwebs, and quality items we could see from the doorway, but the finds have been outstanding and just getting better and better. Also, the deeper we go, critters are discovered, including live cockroaches. Yuck! In the last episode, things got crazy with some epic silver and jewelry finds, but one massive jewelry box by itself seems set to launch us well into the profit. With the weather changing quickly and rain about to come, we get through the last remaining boxes and then take a closer look at the treasures found in that jewelry box. Let's see what else we find. All right, got to the bottom of this box. Bunch of change in here. Put that aside. It's all adding up, guys, all adding up. This is a big profit locker. Spent a lot. Luckily, we're gonna make a lot. All right, here's that box that looked kind of interesting. Let's see if it's got anything remotely exciting compared to what we just went through because that was off the hook. That was crazy. Hmm. Romeo and Juliet, some nice cigars. Let's see what they put in the box. Huh. Okay, that's the kids' stuff. Trust me, it doesn't do anything. All right, well, we got some some more coins. Okay, nice little wall decor. It's a resin, I think. Wow, 40 bucks. Marked down to 27. Okay, we got some Beanie Babies. It's been a while since I found any of these Patriot. But, um, man, I think Beanie Babies might be making somewhat of a comeback. I'm not sure. I've been looking at sold listings, and all of a sudden... Some very, very high prices getting that they're getting for them. Can't make head or tails over it, but it's something to pay attention to anyway. Okay, there's a sock monkey. Uh -oh. This looks nice actually. Luckily, it also looks intact. What is this? Oh, it's got a nice jewelry. Oh, this is Yardro, Yardro. Hey, Mike, you need to take a look at this. Is it Yardro? Yes, it is. Uh, but look around the neck, too. This isn't part of it. Look at this. Is that silver? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. Pack this lady up. This little lady up. Very carefully. Oh, what do we got here? What do we have? Oh, nope. I thought jewelry box, but nope. That's somebody's pet. Hey, Mike, this is definitely something for you. What is it? Add to your cremations oh, yeah, collection. Nice. Mike loves. Well, you still never find open up your one box. The little one. Well, I'm, I was hoping maybe we find a key, but we're, we're gonna have to figure something else out. I don't think that's cremations. That's something else. Okay. Boyd's collection, handmade in China. It's numbered though. <laughs> There's a bit another beanie baby. Swampy. Oh my goodness. There's a bottle of Mickey's. 
in the same box as all the other stuff. That's just weird. Mm -mm. What's this? Guido. Uh oh. This is another cremated pet. Huh. Look at that. Bunt sterling. Little sterling cup. And then got some little tiny itty bitty eggs right here. Huh. Two of them. Very nice. Okay, there's some sort of Christmas ornament, maybe. Veronica's Hallmark. Oh, Rain, R-A-I-N-E. That's funny, we found a whole collection of these little shoes. These are very collectible. They come in the box, so probably worth more in the box, but these we have sold at our auction as well. Looks like I got three of them right here. Whoa, what's on the bottom of this? Looks like a bunch of shark teeth. Those are all shark teeth. Huh. <laughs> That's creepy looking. Look at the hair on this thing. Whatever this thing is, this numbered from 2002. Oops. Diaper's coming off. Oh man, this thing is ugly. Just keep my one of those last boxes. Ooh, Fort Knox. I don't want to rip my finger. something in there. I'm afraid of cutting myself. Yeah. Can you imagine at the end of a long, of a long day slicing your finger on a cheap $1 safe? Yeah. Just because it's got a ring box in it. If you could speed this up when you do it, make it look like it went faster. Sure. Make it look like you got it on the first pull. Yeah. It's like right there. You see what's in there? Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. No blood? Oh my goodness, that does look good. Come on, more. Ooh, okay. Hmm, <sighs> that's a coin. It was. Mm, where's the coins at? World War II stuff. Okay. A little last minute something something. Yeah. Okay, what else we got in here? Oh. Uh-oh. Hey Mike. <laughs> Let me see this. This is rare. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is part of those little balls. Yeah. Oh, these are nice ones though. Let me send a picture to my good buddy here. Huh. That's Ooh, ooh, ooh. Finding more good stuff. Storage locker business is crazy. You never know what you're gonna find. The Hail Mary. Sign of the cross. Huh. That's interesting. And then we have this. Hats. Uh oh. Oh, Mike, look at this. Okay, maybe it's nothing. But here's what I got a couple old hats wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bank envelope. Dude. <laughs> nice. In the freaking kid's hat. 100. 80. Right. Makes you want to go two, look through everything two ten, doesn't it? 220, 230, 240, 250, 265, 265 bucks in cash in the kid's hat, in bubble wrap. What the heck? <laughs> oh, looks like it was originally $595 back in 2014, uh, 2014. Wowza, okay. Woohoohoo! 
What the heck? We found money. I think I felt the raindrop. Okay, which means we're almost out of time here, folks. Which is a good time. Yeah, because I almost got all the work done. <laughs> Mike has definitely moved more boxes than I have. What's this little gal doing here? You got a frog, a frog. Do we want a sea frog? Uh, is, is the oxy stuff just put in the car? It's going to start raining on us. Yeah, I'm really trying to rush. It's going to start raining any second. What do we got here? More of those shoes. Okay, those rain shoes. We'll definitely put those in our auction. Either our auction or Mike's auction. One of the two. We'll go through the live auctions on YouTube. And a couple more of those shoes. I'm not opening them, guys, just because of time. We gotta move quick here. All right, we tried. We tried and tried to get the lock. Oh, much the key. Easier than the last one, huh? <laughs> yeah. This is not really a high quality box, <laughs> but. Um. <laughs> Did you tweak it? Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh. Anything? Oh. Hmm. Uh, it's the kids' stuff again. Is it or is it more of the uh, whoever belonged in the military with that other stuff? I just had a feeling those kids. Ooh. There we go. Is it in German? No. I don't have my glasses. Portuguese badge. Glass combat card. infantry badge. Oh. That one's kind of cool. Card? This one. Presidential. Wow. And then. Okay. Well, it's all right. Yeah, this is all cool because we have a large collection of patches. Yeah. All right, Locker Nuts, what's up? Mike and I got to split up that jewelry, and the first step is to separate what we got, meaning silver, 14K, 10K, 18K, whatever the goal is, and then the costume. So right now, that's what I'm going to do. Let's take a look at the jewelry box right here. All right, we've got that jewelry box. Man, it's a good-looking box, too. Probably the largest jewelry box I ever found, which makes sense because this is the largest score I've ever found. Uh, we've got these three boxes too. Maybe this got some good stuff. These ones, eh? no gold there, but. All right, then I'm set up over here on this table. This is where we do our auctions. This is also where I shoot like eBay items. So the lighting is really good in here. We've got all these different lights set up, um, but it's also good so we can see the jewelry more clearly. I got my acid kit right here for testing the gold. I've got um, ring sizer, I don't know if we'll need that. Notepad so I can take notes. And of course, loops, magnifying glass, magnet, and the scale. All right, let's get started. All right, there it is. Empty jewelry box. Got everything out. All right, here it is. Here is the full jewelry treasure load all laid out. And this as well. All right, so these right here, I'll go through this, guys, if you're if you're wondering what we got. Um, I have it all organized. This is all bronze, bronze pieces. So some of it looks bronze like this, very nice. Some of it is bronze with uh, coating like this, so I think silver plated. This is gold plated, I believe. That's bronze. So anyways, I don't know. There's a market for this bronze stuff. And yeah, I don't know about value because I never actually sold it. I've never found it before. These are all watches. I think these are all just like, just regular watches. There's some nice stuff in here. This one right here actually looks pretty nice, but um, yeah, this one looks kind of nice too. It's a little mother pearl behind. Mini, I'll take a closer look at these before we sell them. Over here, I think these are just costume pieces. These right here, I'm gonna have to have Mike look at just to see if I missed anything. Like, uh, for example, like this might be silver. I'm not sure, um, but nothing too too crazy this is all costume here all right over here we've got all the designer pieces this is Sarovsky right here and I'm not sure if it's gold plated could be right here some Joan Rivers pieces couple earrings they're nice she's got this bee theme apparently look at that that thing is really really nice looking a little pin there's another one right there Liz Palacios I think and these are numbered, which is pretty, pretty dang cool. This one says JBK on it. I'm not sure if that's a famous designer, but it is marked JBK. Nikki Butler, made in France. That's this piece right here. Looks like it might be missing something. It's got the two hooks at the top. Maybe it's just a pendant. I'm not sure. 
This right here, these pieces here are by Kirk's Folly. And a couple pairs of earrings, nice stuff. And then a couple of uh, necklaces with pendants. This right here says Nolan Miller, although I couldn't find the markings on the back. Usually Nolan Miller pieces say Nolan Miller, so I'm not sure, but these are, they're pretty. They're very, very pretty. So um, whether or not they're Nolan Miller, they're still pretty nice. This necklace right here says Graziano on it, and it is really nice, very fancy, and uh, you can see it's like just a lot of movement in it, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to explain that. Really, it's a nice piece. We'll come over here now. This is all sterling silver. All right, there's some beautiful stuff here. Really, like I think every one of these pieces is really nice. All of it marked nine two five. There we have a nice selection of rings. I don't think there's any diamonds here. Um, probably cubic zirconians. I'm not sure about some of the colored gems. That is really pretty, isn't it? Wow. All right, but th these, this is nice stuff. I don't think we really had any junk jewelry here. We had some broken costume pieces, very, very few. But most of this is like just outstanding. Look at that. Gorgeous rings, really. Look at these bracelets. <laughs> so pretty. All of this silver. This tray here, all of this silver. All of this is earrings. Look at this. I think these are some jade earrings. Very nice. This, I think, is also jade. Yeah, heck yeah. This over here is all broken or mismatched, like one earring. Here's a... What well, was a really nice ring, but it has a missing stone. And, oh, man, so it's a heartbreaker. There's a silver bracelet, but broken. So, anyways, that's just scrap silver there. But, yeah, all the other pieces, very nice. Here's a little pendant with some stones in it. It's cool. Silver. Back here, we've got some of the 925 silver with the gold plating. And, uh, again, just really nice stuff. Look at this earring. Oh man, it's cool. Some earrings. There's a ring. With some nice gems in it. And there's a mismatched earring, but there's a little pendant right here. Nice stuff. Back there's a leather necklace with a little silver clasp, and there's some silver earrings. One of them's one of them's missing the mate. Oh, okay, look at this. This tray right here, also 925 silver. Beautiful pieces. I mean, I'm saying that about every single, every single thing, but they really are. Look at this. I think this is all jade right here. Oh, actually, these match that. Oh wow, those match that. <laughs> yeah, those earrings match that. Wow, so cool. There's so much stuff. Like my, my tray is actually starting to get crowded. Here's another 925 silver tray. Necklaces, beautiful. This one is really heavy. It's got some significant weight. It's missing the little clasp, but the chain itself is really, really nice, and it's got girth. Over here, we've got the 14K gold. All of this is 14K. Look at this necklace right here. Isn't that gorgeous? 14 karat gold. These pieces over here, I put damaged because, like, these earrings right here, missing a stone. Only one earring in that style there. This is a broken chain, one earring. This one is, this one actually might be worthy of getting fixed. I think it has about three missing stones in it. There's three missing diamonds. But that's a nice bracelet. This actually might sell for, I don't know, several hundred, maybe a thousand dollars for this bracelet if we can get it fixed. The rings here as well also... Gorgeous stuff, gorgeous stuff. I don't think there's any diamonds here. I think these are mostly cubic zirconians or other gems, but I'm gonna have to have them checked again. My diamond tester doesn't seem to be too reliable with the larger stones. Like this one, it was saying is a diamond. That's not a diamond. It's light blue, I'm not sure what it is, but um, doesn't matter. They're still beautiful, gorgeous looking stuff. Here's a 14K necklace. It's a little tangled up. I gotta fix that. 
But this pendant, I think, might be diamonds. I'm not sure. That is spectacular. Isn't that pretty? I think that might be a diamond in there. I forget. Over here, um, these are some silver earrings made by this designer right here. And what's cool about these, they say Israel on the back. So they're made in Israel. Two pairs. Very cool. All right, this ring right here is something special. I think it's pretty beefy and heavy. This is 925 or sterling silver with a little bit of gold on it. See that right there? I believe it's 14 or 18 karat. I forget which. All right, yeah, you see right there? 925 and 18K. That's 925 silver with 18K of those little flowers right there or 18K accents. This is beautiful. Ooh, it's got a, ma a maker mark on it. What does that say? Huh, I'm not sure, but that's a, man, that's a uh, designer mark in a big old stone. That's a beautiful piece right there. That's something a little bit different. These are the two better watches I put aside. This one, DMQ, I'm not really sure if that's anything. I don't know. I don't know if that's anything. This little Mickey Mouse is, is really nice. It's got that mother of pearl background there. It just feels quality. It's right there. Ooh, Infinity Diamonds. Disney. This is a nice piece right here. Hmm. Very nice. All right, this right here says Ralph Lauren. I think we're gonna have to take a little bit closer look at this. It's too heavy. I think it's probably just gold plated. Um, not solid gold, way too heavy for that. It's a heavy piece. It does feel nice though. This right here, Sterling Signatures by Joseph Esposito. This is another piece that has silver and gold together. Another designer piece. See that right there? 14K and 925. It's pretty dang nice. All right, but this right here, guys. This right here is the money. These are the 18 karat pieces. Look at this. This is a little cat. 18 karat Italy. Wow, that's nice. It's not terribly heavy. This is hollowed out, but it's nice. This right here is 18K. There is um, a marking on it. You can see it right there. It says K18 and then D025. I think that means it's a quarter carat of diamonds in 18 karat gold, but I did gold test that just to make sure and sure enough it is. And then this piece right here is also 18 karat. And um, again, not terribly heavy because all these little loops are all hollow. This reminds me of the 24 karat gold that we found not too long ago. But these little dingle dingles right here with the gems in it, these are very interesting. I just wonder what kind of gems those are and if they're valuable because, well, they put them with 18 karat gold, so this is not a cheap piece. There's a lot of weight there also. So let's take a look at all the gold that we pulled out of just this one jewelry box. I had to break the gold up into smaller sections because it was just too much gold for one little scale to handle, but it also made it kind of fun. We've got 14K, we've got 18K. I'm also showing you the scrap value, so keep in mind these are not scrap pieces. They're better than that. These are retail pieces, but as you'll see from the total that I've got running at the bottom, this one box got us into the profit with just the gold alone. Okay, all right. Mike's breathing. I'm out of breath. I'm overwhelmed, Jackie. What do we buy storage units for? <laughs> to find the treasure. Treasure, and what do pirates love? <laughs> gold, gold, silver, silver, and gems. gems. Found all three here, as well as collectibles and lots of other stuff too. Found a dinosaur tooth or something, but the jewelry was, of course, the big, the big, big. Well, to be honest, in my opinion, and I don't like to be arrogant, you might get this a lot in your videos, but I know I do. People say you're not very, like, you're appreciative. But if you take away all the jewelry we found, the Cartier watch, the jewelry, gold, silver, self, this would have been, we'd have been like, damn, yeah. we spent 43. But, yeah. oh, and the silver cents, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make money here, guys. But $4,300 is a lot of money to spend under anyone's measure um, for us. I mean, I was a little bit nervous, but... I think you were almost out at 39 or four. And then oh, I, I was. Going. I was like, mm, you're like, do you wanna keep going? I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm good. 
I but, honestly, I, I, you can choose to put this on there or not, but I, I feel it when it's in there. Every yeah, unit, every no. is gold and silver. There's just something in my body. Is you have like that mother's intuition for storage lockers, and pays off when I partner with them. This time it did for sure again. So look for, you got to watch his channel for. We only showed half the stuff on right here so go to his channel watch the videos also go to his auctions if you want to buy some of the stuff you saw coming out because uh, we both do live auctions on youtube only on youtube so check our channels for uh, the next one coming up mine's on mondays yours has been on saturdays but it just varies so make sure you yeah sometimes like. it's 24 hours a day sometimes it's <laughs> once a week I it is know. marathons all right like subscribe and hit that little bell notification if you're on youtube and make Another sure good one share mm, share please please it helps us that's how we get uh, known. That's how we get seen. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on... Locker Nuts! Locker Nuts. And... You didn't see that coming, did he? <laughs> oh, uh, no, I didn't. Wow. I had my your shirt on the whole day. It was just too cold. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. Well, we're, we're twinsies. Can I just tell you right now, this part never gets old. It doesn't. It's exciting. Uh, huh. I don't know, I thought there'd be more boxes. Let's, uh, let, let me take you on a little tour. Ooh, there's a light, let me get that light on, and let's look inside. <laughs>